New Tool Day Tuesday, where I share with you guys unique or useful tools that I myself use that I think you might be interested in. You're looking at a brand new product by Harbor Freight. It is made by Icon, and what it is is a ratchet with some bits. This isn't an ordinary ratchet. It has some cool tricks up its sleeve. We're gonna talk about that in a second. If you're not familiar with the tiers at Harbor Freight, Icon is pretty much top of the line when it comes to the tools, and you pay a little bit more for them, but they are extremely good quality, and they come with a lifetime warranty. So if anything in its assortment, including a little bit, may fail on you, all you have to do is take it back to Harbor Freight, and they're going to give you another one, no questions asked. But what caught my attention wasn't the bit set, it was the ratchet. I'd recently got done with a project that required very little clearance and I had to take a wrench and clue a bit into it. So I had a screw in an area where it required a screwdriver and the screwdriver would not fit. It was down inside a hole and this solved the problem. But if I had this kit here, that would have solved the problem. Now you didn't think on Tool Tuesday I would show you a boring tool, did you? Well, this thing has some tricks up its sleeve and that's what I want to show you. First of all, it acts like a regular ratchet. So it has a switch that's a forward and reverse. You can obviously stick the bit inside the end here and use it just like a ratchet. It also has a pivoting head design. So if maybe the handle's getting in the way, you can press this little button and bend it back just a little bit. It'll lock in place and you can use it just like that. It has a lot of motion in that too. Very handy. Now this is a little bit short and it'll probably get most jobs done, but if you need a little more torque on it, the extension that they include also allows you to stick it in the handle. That gives you a lot of torque in case you need it. But wait, there's more. You can take this extension and shove it all the way through the ratchet and now you have a T-handle. The bottom of the ratchet also accepts a bit. You can really shove in on the fastener and get a lot of torque with that T-handle. There's a couple clever design features I noticed as well. When the bit is in place, it won't shove all the way through the ratchet. It's designed that it stops. It's held in with a mechanical fastener and it doesn't want to go anywhere. And then you're probably wondering how I got the T-handle to shove all the way through the hole. Well, they have some markings on the end of this T-handle. You might not see that in the camera, but it is filed in such a way that it is the only thing that will shove all the way through the ratchet. So the handle will shove all the way through the ratchet, but the bits will not. They stop. Now the bottom one, when you put the bit in, it's magnetically held in place. Everything folds up in a really nice compact case. This is a pretty high quality plastic. Nothing about this is cheap. It's got kind of a rubber coating on the plastic. It feels really good. Even the clip is metal that's not plastic. Now this product is new for Harbor Freight at the time of this video, and it does come in at $39.99. But remember, it has a lifetime warranty. So when you nick those bits up, it's not a big deal. You can go back and replace them. They're gonna give you new bits. So there you have my quick and dirty review of the Icon Ratchet and Bits set. I will put a link down below as I normally do. If I find any problems with this kit in the future, I will also pin it to a comment at the top. If you like these types of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Take a look at some of my other videos and at the very least, you might be entertained.